So, schizoaffective disorder is a mental health condition that includes symptoms of schizophrenia and a mood disorder such as bipolar or major depression. I personally am schizoaffective bipolar type, meaning that I experience schizophrenic symptoms such as hallucinations, delusions, disorganized thinking, meaning my thoughts can come and go rapidly without connecting thoughts as one usually would have. Say, for example, if you were thinking of a flower, you may begin to start thinking of a garden and move continuously through connected thoughts, whereas with disorganized thinking, I can be thinking of a flower and then suddenly be thinking about hopping a train and then thinking about a particular person of which I fancy and then to something else without any logical order to it. Um, I also experience memory loss and often am unsure what day it is and have to be reminded repeatedly. With schizo symptoms, I also experience dissociation from both the world around me and from my own body. It's as if I, I'm experiencing life from the point of view of someone else or often sometimes from, more often from above. And of course there is intense paranoia. I often feel people are watching me or I believe that there are hidden cameras and I have to put tape over my laptop camera in order to help myself feel somewhat safer. Um, my hallucinations affect all my senses, visual, auditory, touch, and scent. My most common hallucinations are things I call flurries, which are little black orbs that float around. And those are present almost always, but are harmless and don't bother me much. Next most common would be that I see and feel spiders on me. I also believe that there are bugs living in my skin, but I believe that is more of a delusion than a hallucination. The most bothersome hallucination I experience is the faceless men. Which, to describe them accurately, they have a face, but it's just a blank face aside from a wide smile with sharp teeth. And they are cloaked and they have long fingernails with which they try to grab me with. They tell me they want my eyes, and I've had episodes in which I have tried to scratch my own eyes out so as to make them go away. Other hallucinations that are not so terrifying as are not so that are not so terrifying are a man named Richard who has built an island for me to live in, but I believe I would have to die in order to stay there. Um, but he's very kind and charming, and often tells me which people are good and bad to be around. Um, there's also someone I call the Blue Lady. Although she has never spoken to me, I see her at times. She just glides about in a long blue gown with her skin illuminated blue. Auditory-wise, I hear a melody much like that of a phone alarm, but it is incessant and grows louder and louder and louder and louder and louder, and louder driving me mad. There's also scurrying about my feet as if there were a small animal that I hear. Um, a lot of symptoms of the mood disorder, bipolar in my case, and the schizophrenic symptoms coincide and can happen concurrently or separately. As most people know, with bipolar comes mood swings, but not so much in the sense that it's up and down constantly within minutes, although it can be, but more often you go through depressive and manic episodes that last about a few days to a week or so. Um, during manic episodes, you experience everything intensely and may experience great excitement, euphoria, delusions, and overactivity and ir irritability. Mania also induces disconnected or disorganized thinking. Again, both schizophrenia and bipolar can cause you to have grandiose, grandiose beliefs such as that you are God or that God speaks through you, or that you are immortal, and basically just an unrealistic sense of superiority. Um, mania can also, also make you hypersexual, which is quite simply as it sounds. You are hypersexual. You want to have sex all the time. Um, you often experience insomnia during manic episodes as well. Um, during a depressive episode, I experience a loss of interest in things that I normally enjoy, such as hula hooping. I experience intense sorrow, 
without any real explanation as to why, other than a diminished sense of self-worth. I don't believe I'm worth anything, or that I have anything to offer the world, that I'm a waste, or the other thoughts along these lines that plague my mind. And they just repeat over and over and over and over. These thoughts just constantly running through your through your mind in a depressive episode. Um, for me, I get a loss of appetite, but for some, their appetite is increased, leading to either weight loss or weight gain. Um, it's also, during depressive episodes, you have difficulty concentrating. Um, you experience social isolation, um, excessive sleepiness, um, lack of personal hygiene, which also goes along with schizophrenic symptoms. Um, I'm not sure how exactly to end this video, but I know that it can be really hard to explain these sorts of things to people because people think that it's all in your head. It's it. I mean, it is, but it's important to remember that hallucinations are positive symptoms of schizophrenia or schizoaffective disorder are as real to the victim, I guess you could call them, as it is as it is not real to somebody who does not experience those things. Um, and with that being said, uh, just be safe out there in this great big world we live in, and uh, life gets harder, but carry on.